Hey audio nerds, this is Rachel from Reverb, and today we're gonna talk about audio interfaces. I know, exciting, right? Audio interfaces. But unless you're recording to analog tape, you probably need an audio interface. So let's jump right in. So what is an audio interface? Simply put, an audio interface is a device that connects to your computer and allows you to record into it and listen back to what you're recording. There are hundreds of options out there, so how do you choose the one that's best for you? It really all comes down to price and what you're gonna be using the interface for. So today, we're gonna to take a look on Reverb at some of the popular options and help you pick the one that's best for you. Stick around, because in a bit, I'm gonna ask you some questions about what kind of recordings you're gonna to want to do. This will help you narrow down your search. But before that, let's take a look at these four factors to consider when buying any interface. Number one, inputs and outputs. An interface really isn't an interface unless it has inputs and outputs. So some things to consider are how many instruments or microphones are you going to want to record at once? How many inputs are you going to need at any given moment? Similarly with outputs, you're going to at least want a stereo output for your monitors and probably a headphone output. If you plan to use more headphones or analog outboard gear, you may want to look into interfaces with more output options. Number two, preamps versus inputs. Every preamp is going to have an input, but not every input is going to be connected to that preamp. Your preamp is going to amplify low-level mic or instrument signals, and it's going to influence the sound quality and price of your interface. Don't forget, if you want to use your condenser microphones, make sure that at least some channels have phantom power. Otherwise, that mic is not going to work. Number three, connection type. Connection type is all about speed and compatibility. These days, most interfaces are compatible with both Mac and PC, but you may need an adapter, so double check before you buy one. Most of you will be just fine with USB 2, but if you want to future-proof yourself, or you want to record multiple inputs with low latency, you may want to look into USB 3, USB C, or Thunderbolt connections. And for those MIDI people out there, you want to make sure that you have some MIDI connections as well. Number four, software and plug-in bundles. Many interfaces come with recording software and plugin bundles. If you're looking to expand your plugin library or you want to try a new DAW, this may be the deciding factor between two interfaces that have similar features. All right, now that all that good stuff's out of the way, let's get to suggesting some interfaces for you. Question number one, are you a solo artist crafting tunes in your home studio or your bedroom? Check out the Focusrite Scarlet 2i2, which offers an excellent balance of quality and convenience. The 2i2 features two preamps with flexible combo mic, line, instrument, input jacks. It records via USB 2 and is also USB powered, so you can take it anywhere. The 2i2 even comes with a host of software to help you start getting great sounds right away. Other even more affordable options for two input interfaces include the Behringer Euphoria series, like the UMC 204 HD, which features two preamps, a MIDI in and out, and added outputs and inserts for additional monitors. If you're looking for an even simpler solution that adds some software with your desktop interface, check out the PreSonus AudioBox i1. You'll generally find the i1 bundled with an intro version of PreSonus's Studio One 4 DAW, as well as plugins, virtual instruments, and samples. So maybe you only need one or two inputs, but you're looking for the top of the line preamps, plugins, and DSP processing. Check out Universal Audio. Interfaces like UA's Arrow take advantage of ultra-fast Thunderbolt and USB-C connectivity to Mac or PC. The Arrow features high-quality Unison preamps and onboard DSP that powers the included real-time plug-in bundle. Even the more legacy UA desktop interfaces, like the Apollo Twin Duo, will get you access to near-zero latency, high-quality conversion, and access to the Universal Audio real-time plugins, which are becoming an industry staple. Are you looking for just a couple more preamps on your desktop interface? Check out the Tascam US 4x4, a no-frills interface which will give you four mic line pre's, two headphone outs, MIDI, and four outputs. The Steinberg UR44 will give you six inputs in total, with four preamps in the front and two line level inputs in the back. You'll find very low latency and high quality 24-bit, 192 kHz capturing. It has iOS connectivity, and as an additional bonus, there are some added onboard DSP effects and zero latency monitoring included that integrates directly into Cubase. Are you an in-the-box beatmaker or producer who wants to jumpstart your production skills or use an interface live? 
The Native Instruments Complete Audio 6 may not look too much different from some of the other six in and out interfaces available. But for a really great price point, Native Instruments is bundling this interface with a complete studio in a box. Over three gigabytes of virtual instruments, effects, and samples, as well as programs like Cubase LE and Tractor LE. If you really like instruments that connect through USB or MIDI, check out the Arturia Audio Fuse. This little box is packed with high quality features, but the name of the game here is connectivity. With a three port USB hub, MIDI and ADAT IO, and options for multiple inserts, inputs, talkback and monitoring outs, the Audio Fuse is a really great option for in-the-box musicians who want a lot of expanded connectivity options in a really small box. Are you looking to record multiple instruments at once? You're going to need to find an interface with the I.O. that can handle it. While most 8 plus input interfaces are rack mount units, there are also some desktop options as well, such as the Focusrite Scarlett 18i8, which has four combo jack preamps, four additional line inputs, and an optical input you can use to daisy chain more I.O. options down the line. With the Scarlett 18i8, you'll get a low latency machine that, when purchased new, comes bundled with plugins, virtual instruments, and DAWs like Ableton Live Lite. An upgrade to this would be Focusrite's Claret 8 Pre. With the 8 Pre, you'll get eight Claret preamps with an air feature that model their vintage transformer-based ISA preamps. And while rack mount units are safe as secured in a rack, there's no reason why you can't use it on your desktop as long as you're careful. If you're on a bit more of a budget, but still want eight full preamp inputs, check out the PreSonus Studio 1824C. This USB-C interface has two of the eight combo jack preamps on the front for easy access. And you can always expand the I.O. with the ADAT connections, giving you up to 18 simultaneous inputs. Plus, the Studio 1824C comes with the Studio One Artist DAW and Studio Magic plugin suite. If you really want to go all out with your first audio interface purchase, the Universal Audio Apollo series offers everything the Apollo Twin does and more. The Apollo 8 and 8P feature four and eight Unison preamps, respectively. The Unison preamps offer emulations of some of the world's most famous preamps and channel strips, plus two high Z inputs on the front for tracking guitars through top-notch emulations of classic amps. If you're not sure if you need more than eight inputs, I'd recommend going with something that has that ADAT optical connection. That way, you can always expand your I.O. in the future. Wow, that was a lot of interfaces. Hopefully, now that you've seen them all, you're one step closer to finding the one that's right for you. If there's one you've been using that I didn't mention, let us know below in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Make sure that at least some of the channels have phantom powder, powder, phantom powder, <laughs> you know, phantom powder.